when uh, we are at the point where that we are closing the conference, but before that, uh, I'll introduce Deb Kutkin from the FreeBSD Foundation. She has a few words to share with you. Hi, everyone. I'm Deb Goodkin. I'm with the FreeBSD Foundation. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about what we, what, who we are and what we do. I know I don't have a lot of time. Um, there's a lot, a lot of other people who are going to come up after me. Um, and also, I know that a lot of you are antsy to find out who is going to win the book. And so we'll announce that right after I'm done. OK? So who we are, uh, we've been around for 14 years. We're coming up on our 15th anniversary of supporting the FreeBSD project and community. Uh, we have a group of um, seven board members. A few of them are here. Um, all of them work currently in FreeBSD, whether they're teaching or actually developing code or, or doing documentation. We have a staff. Uh, we have two actual full-time employees, and we have technical staff of three people, one including Ed Mast, who's here, who's our uh, project director. He does all of our project or manages all of our project development, and we have. Um, Ed and uh, Caustic, who do development work. And then, um, uh, I don't know if I said the right name, but um, Glenn Barber, who a lot of you may know, who's been do handling release engineering, and, um, and Cluster Edmund. Um, and then we have a lot of um, outside contractors who work with us, too. Uh, we're an open book company. We post all of our financials on our website. We'll be doing this uh, quarter that's going to end this week. And we'll post that financial information in um, probably two to four weeks when we sell all our books. But we're always open with um, all the money that's coming in and all the money that's going out. And so fundraising. So we're uh, funded totally 100% uh, by, uh, by you people. And uh, so all the users, individual donors, and, uh, and corporations. And uh, last year, we raised $770,000. This year we have a goal of a million and hopefully more. We're at about 612,000 right now. And, um, and what we would like to ask you is you can help. Um, I mean, this is obviously more for FreeBSD because that's what our charter is. Uh, but, uh, but what you could do is you can make a donation. I know a lot of you did here, which we, which thank you. We really appreciate it. A lot of you are entered now into the drawing for the book, which is great. And, uh, but you can also help by, um, by sharing um, our efforts on, your, on social media. That really helps a lot. And, um, and then the other thing is really uh, going to your company. If your company uses FreeBSD, is approaching them and, um, and trying to get them to donate to, to us. And what we're trying to do, too, is provide collateral or um, material that you can use to present to your company. And if you need help, um, please ask us, because that's one thing we're trying to help with, is, is getting that information to you. Lastly, what do we do? Uh, we do do a lot of things. We, one thing we do is we sponsor conferences like this. I think we sponsor about 10 events this year, and so they may be big uh, conferences like this, or they may be developer ven vendor summits um, or other like unconference type of events. Um, and, and those are BSD related, so they're not just free BSD. Uh, we provide travel grants to developers, and so at this conference, we have four developers who, uh, who we sponsored. Um, we do fund development projects. We were hoping to talk about that here, but we really we don't have time in this closing session. But we have a lot of uh, great things that we're funding. We're currently funding to help uh, FreeBSD as well as some things that are, are coming up really soon. We provide, we buy hardware. Uh, for the infrastructure, we have three facilities around the North America that we uh, provide hardware for. We do provide legal support, and, uh, and that includes uh, protecting the trademark. Uh, if you ever need legal assistance, or not you individually, but usually as a project when issues come up, and, uh, and so we provide that. We do have a new FreeBSD journal. Um, I should have brought that with me, but we do have that that we're handing out at our table out there. And, um, and we're doing a lot of advocacy, and that's uh, the, the new journal that we're producing right now. And we're really trying to get out there and educate people and provide brochures and any type of literature that helps promote free BSD and, um, and the BSD operating systems. 
And then the last thing we do is, uh, is support education and scientific research. We have been funding programs in, in universities. So that's basically what we do. We were hoping to talk about projects, but we really don't have time because there's a lot of people um, that want to come up and speak. So the last thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to raffle off this book. And so I'm going to get a number from Ed. It's going to be verified. And then hopefully that person is here and we can, we can give that book to that person. So Ed, you're going to call it a number. Oh, I know who that is. Do you know who you are? It's Philip. OK, yay. <laughs> OK, so. OK, thank you, Deb. Um, since we're giving away stuff, uh, there's more stuff to give away, as you know. Um, inviting uh, Julio to the front, and Julio is uh, representing Google, one of our big sponsors. And uh, Julio has a very nice homebook to give away. OK, yes, I have a Chromebook. But before that, a couple of words from me. Um, so, first of all, as Paul said, I work for Google. Some of you have asked me, uh, well, I'm an SRE at Google, I work for infrastructure, and some of you have asked me what that is. I'm not going to explain it now, but if you have more questions on what we do and how the work is, come find me later and I'll let you know. Um, so then, Google is a sponsor for this conference, you've seen there, and it has been for several years already. So as part of this, we have the Chromebook as a present for the raffle, and I'll leave that for the end. So I'll say something before that. Um, let's see. So I want to talk about diversity because Google has a program called Travel Grants and so Travel Conference Grants. Um, so as you may have noticed, a while ago, Google published some diversity numbers where they uh, mentioned things like the composition of the uh, employees, where they come from, or what their ethnicity is, or what gender they are. And Google is trying to improve that. And part of the a way to do this was first to publish the report, and then some of the companies followed suit. I think, for example, uh, Facebook and um, Apple were two companies that did the same thing soon after. So Google is trying to get the data out there so people are aware of it. And one of the ways they are trying to improve things is by these grants. So they are targeted at groups that are underrepresented in technology, and this, in Europe at least, includes women. So Google has granted uh, four, has given four of these grants for four women to come to this conference. And Paul would like to take a picture of them. So he has found already three of you, but we're still missing uh, Baharan Mirza Soleiman. So if you are here, please let Paul know later when we are done and for the picture. Uh, and with that, to the raffle. So, 67 people have uh, provided answers, and no one has gotten the eight questions correctly. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> it was only eight questions. But uh, from the eight questions, three people have gotten seven of them correctly, and that's followed by 11 people that have gotten six correctly. Aside from that, I don't have any more details, but yeah. So, I've gotten a list of 10 possible winners in order. You have to be here to receive the present, and only one of you will get it, of course. So the first one will get it. Um, and I promise the list is random. It doesn't depend on whether you got the, the questions correctly or not. It just has been random selects from all 67 from you. So, the winner is Peter Larson, if you are here. There he is. Congratulations. Thank you. And that's all from me. Okay. So uh, next on stage is uh, Benedict Roisling. And uh, I think it's all about the goat. Hi. So, 
So this little fellow followed me around since BSD can because uh, Alan Jude uh, probably uh, exacted his revenge for dropping a commit bit on video. You probably saw it on BSD now. And uh, I think my punishment should now end. Um, I now want to give this to someone to get the go to the next BSD conference, which is uh, Meet BSD California. And I already picked that person. Would that person be so nice to come over? So we've never done this before, but um, I guess there is no official uh, thing to hand over a goat, so <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, he has a Twitter account, the GOAT, so follow him at uh, twitter.com slash graph the BSD GOAT. I think camel case, uh, the, um, you know, the letters are important, so, or just search, you'll find him. Thanks. Thank you, Benedict. So, um, quick question, who did not like this conference? Who did like this conference? Here is uh, Steljana, and she made this all possible. Um, can you hear me all? So, uh, for those of you wondering what uh, the mascot meant, uh, it's actually a replica of the statue of Sofia run right in front of the speaker hotel. Uh, thank you all who are here. I have actually a very big list of thanks I will uh, give now. So again, thanks to all our sponsors, you see them there. I'm not going to list them all by name since we're, we are out of time. And those are our partners who also helped make this conference happen. So I really hope you all enjoyed the social event. That, <coughs> is there anyone who didn't? <laughs> So, next on my list to thank is the EuroBSDCon Foundation, uh, who are the people uh, who I relied on for support. Uh, the one who were with me through the entire year, you know, making sure, helping me outsort all different things related to the conference. Big thanks to everyone from the foundation. Uh, the organizing committee, Stuyan is here. Um, I'm not sure Christina is here, but thanks to them. <laughs> They're in the back. Uh, the program committee, who are responsible for the great program we had this year. Of course, the speakers, <laughs> including those who flew in from France. <laughs> uh, I had the great team. I'm, you all saw how amazing they are. Uh, the video streaming, the network, everything just worked. So I wouldn't have done it without them. Thanks a lot. By the way, at peak times we had uh, a bit over 70 people watching the live stream, which is, I know it's the first time we're doing it, so I think that's a great number. And that's thanks to them. So, thank you all for attending because, you know, the conference is for you and without you, there wouldn't be point in organizing it. So, uh, you're well, uh, I think before to... that, uh, I'll tell a little bit about the foundation. Oh, yeah. okay. So, how do we switch to the first one? 
<laughs> so um, you've heard this uh, name, uh, your BSD Confoundation, several times. Uh, I'm going to spend three or four minutes to tell you about this. Um, in 2001, two guys in the uh, United Kingdom had a great idea to try out a first uh, European conference on BSD. It was then called BSDCon Europe. Later we changed the name to EuroBSDCon. Um, you see the countries where we had conferences after that one because it was such a great success. But one thing was fundamentally wrong. Every year the organization started from scratch, had to reinvent the wheel. So that's why in 2011 when we did the 10th anniversary conference in the Netherlands, we decided there must be some way of giving the information, the knowledge, the experience we have on to the next team and share the resources so that you don't have to start from scratch every year. And that's when the, FreeB the EuroBSD Con Foundation started. And so far we have already, I think, successfully supported the conference in Warsaw, Malta, and this year in Sofia. 2015, yeah, one or two more minutes and then you'll know. <laughs> um, how do we help local organizations? Well, first by helping to seek new candidates. And when that doesn't work, we just appoint volunteers, like we did yesterday. <laughs> then we transfer our knowledge and experience by a lot of uh, uh, personal interaction, uh, both in face or by email and IRC. And we just help the local organization through the whole process, having it done ourselves before. Um, we have a ready-to-use website and registration system. Um, the foundation is a legal entity taking the risk off the shoulders of the local, uh, local organizers. Uh, we have the bank account, financial administration, and we know our recurring sponsors and how to contact them. Also quite important to keep the prices low. We tried to control quality a little bit. We had various levels of quality with the first 10 uh, EuroBSDCon editions. Um, one way we do that is by having members of the various BSD projects in our board. So uh, no more sounds of, uh, hey, our project has not had a good representation in this conference. We now all get a fair share. Um, Transferring uh, experience also means that uh, previous organizers remain in the board for another year and have their first-hand experience to give to the next team. And uh, we also allow future candidates to already join the board, listen in on all the meetings and see what's going on before, uh, before it's their turn to actually do it. We are doing this for all of you to give you a high level, high quality uh, conference. We can use more help. So please contact us if you uh, think you can spend some of your spare time uh, making the next conference even greater. And of course, we always are in need of candidates for future conferences in, ex uh, sorry, in exciting European countries. Okay, this is... Uh, End of my part. Oh, can you hear me? Okay. I'll need it. Um, by the way, uh, as the neural networks, Reich is outside. He has some great. Oh, he's inside. <laughs> but yeah, he has some great t-shirts to give, so find him if you want one. Oops, yeah. So where is <laughs> EuroBSDCon 2015 going to be? You'll know in a minute, but before that, Hiroki Sato wants to invite you to Asia BSDCon. So. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Hiroki, uh, who is uh, running a Asia BC Council. So I'll I want to make an announcement about the next Asia BC Con. Uh, so before that, uh, please raise your hand if you went to attend the past Asia BC Con here. Here, here, here. Oh, thank you. Not so much. So we need more. So. Uh, 
Yes, uh, please listen to their exciting stories during staying in Japan. So I am sure uh, that uh, Tokyo is an interesting city to visit for you. And the uh, official web page has already been updated for the next one, uh, uh, 2015. So uh, please visit the website for precise schedule and please precise place. But uh, we are now accepting uh, paper submission. So uh, please remember the uh, deadline is uh, the end of November. And uh, Asia Mystica has a four day uh, structure and the first two days is for the tutorial and small meetings for each uh, VSD projects. And the second half of the uh, uh, the kind of half of the conference days is for a paper session, that much like uh, your they come. So uh, I and the organizing committee uh, looks forward to seeing you in Tokyo. Thank you. So do you hear me again? Okay. So, EuroBSDCon 2015 will be in Stockholm. Yeah. So, good luck. <laughs> You'll <Sure. need> it. <laughs> so, Yesterday, Jana was appointed as volunteer for next year's conference. He said, I have to think about this. I said, okay, this is how it works. We will announce you on Sunday afternoon, and then you can think about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last couple of years, we have had this nice European flag as a symbol of the conference. And uh, we are happy to pass it on to Jana. So next year, there will be one more Swedish flag in the next square, and uh, I hope to see you all, but here's Janne to do the announcement. The venue and, and the exact dates are, are still to be decided, but, but I'm happy to take on the challenge and, and use as much of the foundation as possible to, to make the next EuroBSD con as great as this one was. Thank you very much for the honor of bringing this flag another country further on. It's yours. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.